Okay, everyone, we are heading back to do our second test route. This is going through Hendersonville. Uh, we're just gonna see how it does here. Again, the map data didn't fix this problem. It wants us to go backwards. You can even see the straight arrow here. And it wants us to go backwards through the one way to get out. That being said, it's hard, you can't really tell by video, but this is a really steep exit right here to get onto the road. And unless it goes this slow, I wouldn't trust it. And then it can speed up afterwards like this. It's probably gonna freak out. Make sure it doesn't freak out. Reroute here. There we go. Okay. Let's see if it's gonna get behind this car up here. So that's good. It didn't really break. It acknowledged the truck and it kind of like went a little bit back and forth, but it didn't break heavily for that truck. It needs to stay to the left right here um, for this car. This person's doing a U turn. I don't know if that's even legal right there. And again, map data didn't fix the speed limit, and it still doesn't acknowledge the 25 mile an hour speed limit sign right there. They do have speed traps here. Like, I, I don't understand, like, <laughs> like, the car can read the sign, it shows up on the display. Why doesn't it read the sign? I, I don't understand. Uh, Wow, not sure what, what it did there. I think it saw that shadow and thought it was something in the middle of the road. Good reminder to always have your hand on the wheel when you're using this stuff. We'll go ahead and speed it back up. I think we're getting approaching 35 zone again right here. We have this stop sign right here. It doesn't look like a normal stop sign, but that's actually probably why it hit the brake right there. What? the heck is happening now? This is... <laughs> I mean, wow. This drive, the first drive is pretty good. This drive so far is not good. It's like braking for no reason. I don't know what's going on. Maybe having the sun coming from the other direction? See right there. It's braking for these cars. I suspect it's gonna try and brake for this yield. I'm gonna have to keep it from stopping at the yield because there's a person behind me. Ah, oh, maybe it didn't. There, no one uses their turn singles going through. I don't know if that's le oh, legally required or not. Somebody can chime down in the comments. I've, I don't think anyone ever uses their turn singles going into a roundabout. But maybe it's uh, one of those stupid laws that I'm like, oh, you're supposed to use your turn single going into a roundabout when everyone knows which way you're gonna go. Unless you just don't know how to use a roundabout. But um, yeah, definitely interesting. Okay, let's see how it does right here. always a challenge because it doesn't want to cross this double yellow and it wants to like get in at the last possible second into this turn lane which it did it just needs to be a comfortable crossing the double yellow no nope. and it's still trying to break after going through the light um I didn't wait for that guy. Uh, it would have been in the middle of the intersection had I let it let it continue. So that's going to be a definite disengagement there. A lot of phantom braking on this road. Okay, good turn there. Gave enough room on the right side to make me feel comfortable. See if the map data fixes anything along here. It seems like it has. Yeah, 
So at least for this update, it no longer tries to get in the left um, merge lane right there. And then change lanes to follow route. This is the correct spot to get over. So good. We'll have to see with the next update if it stays that way. But it does seem to be fixed. I had to press the foot on the accelerator because there is a person behind me. I don't want their and rear end me. It said they don't use acceleration data um, to determine an override to like train it, but they should. If they don't, they absolutely 100% should um, be doing that. And we'll be back after we are out. Okay, everyone, we are gonna do downtown Hendersonville next. So personally, I think, I think 30 is the speed limit in this area. I just personally think, at least on this next road, it's a little bit too fast. Oh, no, it fixed it. Hey, that's new with this update. Um, speed limit is now 20, which actually I think is the appropriate speed for this side street here. It's still, this is accurate, it's still going too far back. And, um, you tell me in the comments, should we count this disengagement? Because... The reason why is because I pressed it to go forward and it thinks like, okay, we're good to go through this red light because, like, well, maybe I'm wrong and it's not a red light. And so it was just going to fly through the red light because I told it to. Because I told it to, you know, um, because it was basically just trying. I needed to creep back up to the line, which it was too far back at. Um, and I, that's why I was doing that. So you tell me in the comments. I'm personally not going to count it because I should have creeped made it creep forward beforehand I and mean, then it would have been fine if i do it before it does a complete stop it will still stop but if i tell it to keep on going afterwards it will just run run the red light i've had that happen before where it tried to run a light, red light because of that i wonder if well okay that's a disengagement um, you can't just break all of a sudden, tell the, basically it tells these people that they can go and then start accelerating towards the people again, <laughs> at least at any remotely fast speed. So that's definitely a disengagement. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of our first stop here. We're at a red light, so it shouldn't go through here. <laughs> and they fixed the speed limit on Main Street. That's good. At 20 mile an hour is a more appropriate speed for Main Street, not the... Pretty sure it was 30 before is what it was showing. I'm going to call that a disengagement because it got too close to the curb right there. I don't know what's up with this, the navigation, everyone, but uh, like, again, it doesn't go where the dot is. For whatever reason, it says, oh, we're smarter than you. We're gonna go to the spot we think you wanna go. Like Elon's thing where they're trying to read your mind is ridiculous. Um, Cause where I want to go is right here. And it's going to navigate the King Street right there. Watch it. Look. So, like, I don't want to go there. Like, you can't... This there's, this is a one-way road. This this is a two-lane road. So, and this is a... This is not even a road. You can, if, if it is, you can only go that direction. And that was a disengagement. Go ahead and... Snapshot that. Though what it should have, uh, I mean, now the only reason it went right is because of routing. Now an alternative reason it could have gone right is it could have had the logic, hey, look at all these cars up ahead. If I turn right and turn turn down this alleyway, because I want to go here, it would actually be quicker. Uh, if I did that, 
as a, from a human logic perspective, it might notice that one day with all the traffic. I'm like, hey, if I go this way and reroute us real quick, it'll be quicker because now I don't have to wait for all these cars. And like based on previous history, it will know, hey, this this road right here or traffic data. I can even just use traffic data. Um, it'll know, hey, there's not a lot of traffic there. It'll most likely be quicker if we just take a right at this red and go down that way. I would already be at my destination, actually, if I did that. So that, that's something I can consider in the future. But we're trying to even keep this route consistent. So we're going to go down, go down here. And just so I can get it to turn, see if it stays on the left side of the road. It's going gonna, it's gonna to probably not stay in the left lane. And I'm not going to count that as a disengagement. If there's any bright side, um... The car no longer tries to go around other cars. I haven't had that in quite a few versions, I don't think. Buses are a little bit gray area. But in terms of an actual, it doesn't need to actually stop here. Don't need to actually stop there. There's no humans. Um, it was trying to stop at that yield sign right there. And I'm fortunate to creep forward, otherwise it would give a way, it, it rolled backwards. Um, and so that's something Elon said will happen in this version. Okay, let's see if we can make this turn. I'm pressing accelerator because it's not accelerating quite quick enough. That's not going to be a disengagement just because my destination is actually this parking lot right here. Hey everyone, um... That is going to be the end of this drive. Uh, if you have any questions for me on this, definitely let me know. Uh, I'm glad to answer anything you might have, any concerns, any comments. Please put them down below. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.